I'm gonna pour this right in here and look at this. <gasps> oh, Look wow. at this, it's like magic. I have no idea what's gonna happen. This is a biological stain. Oh, this is no. just, no, it's fine. It's just a stain. So I bet you think this is the part of the show where I'm gonna say, don't try these experiments at home. And you're right, except there is one experiment we want you to try. Just look for the graphic that's right here that says, try it. That's your signal that you can try that experiment at home. Everything else off limits. Look, I've already given you homework and the show hasn't even started. I'm Steve Spangler, and I'm all about making science fun. For the last 20 years, I've been teaching ways to turn ordinary science experiments into unforgettable learning experiences. I have an amazing team who will do whatever it takes to affect the way people think about science. And to do that, I live by one motto. Make it big, do it right, give it class. You know, I think it's true, you never actually forget the great teachers that you had in your life. And when I go back and think about my high school, Heritage High School, and the Littleton Public Schools, uh, one guy sticks out. His name is Doug Hodis, and uh, he was my very first chemistry teacher. This is the guy that made things blow up and, and the funny smells and so forth. And so I thought today we'd go back to Heritage High School and see if we can take him back to his old class and have a little lesson in chemistry. Hey, Steve, how are you? You're looking good. So I walk in and you're no longer here because they kicked you out 20 years ago. How long uh, have you been retired? Uh, it's been a long, long time. 1996, 97. Yeah, my chemistry teacher is here. He's the guy that, uh, that made sure, well, there's a whole lot of stories about sneaking out and doing demos and so forth. But I was going to ask you, let's go back into the, uh, the class. Uh, let's see if we can rummage around a little bit. And I'd love to have you do, I want disappearing ink. That's oh, what I want. I want your formula yeah. for disappearing ink. Oh, let's go make maybe it. We could, that'll be a lot of fun. Okay, got well, it. Well, thanks for inviting yeah, me. Absolutely. Welcome back to your old classroom. Some things don't change, do they? Well, what do they call this, Steve? I used to have a chalk <laughs> It's a dry erase board, and when oh, you get wow. older, you forget. Is there used to be chalk, and so there, there used to be some huge demos that we would do here, and, and you would ask me and, and to come up with some of the demos that, uh, that you would do, and so I got to be your lab assistant. It's a pretty smart s decision on your part to make me your well, lab assistant, right? If uh, fact be known, you were in my AP chemistry class as a junior, and then I thought because you had passed and done well on the exam, I thought maybe you would be an appropriate person for you and Todd, who later on became a doctor, to be my lab assistants. Well, that was a mistake. Yeah, but, okay. so, but there were some pretty good exposures. Oh, yeah. There was something very cool that you did with disappearing ink. And so what I'd like to do is to go back oh, in yeah. the lab and show me just your formula for disappearing ink. I'd love I'm to. Kind of all yeah, into sure. this disappearing ink thing. All right. all right, let's go look at that. Look at this. You even dress the part. Yes. I love this. It's your I lab always want to look and, like and, a professional. And I love this too. Here. Oh wait, you've got this and look at and he's got his little nerd protector right here. I love yeah, that. It won't oh, go it in there. It doesn't even that. fit there. Yeah, no, that's why I Some put things it in don't the change. I'm yeah, serious. That's right. So I'll set this off to the I side didn't know just I had in case you don't need yeah. it. I, uh, I want you to show me how to make disappearing ink, but it looks like you have something else set up instead. Oh, yeah. I want to sort of give you an example how this okay. particular acid-base reaction is going to work. Now, if you look right here, I just have a beaker of water. I'm going to put a little bit of the uh, sodium hydroxide. All right. Now, this is just a one molar solution, so we're just going to add a little bit in here. Okay. Okay? And it turns out that'll be colorless. Okay. Because that's a base in water, and it's colorless. Okay. Now, what we're going to add here is just a very few drops of this. And we'll show everybody what that is. That's it's called phenol thaline. Phenol. So it's, it's an actually, indicator. It actually starts, you said, as a powder. So we have the powder here. Mm -hmm. And so you said a couple drops of phenol thaline right. in there. Right. Good. All right. It, OK. And when I held it up before, you actually couldn't see the liquid, but it is in there. So when I add this over here, OK, it turns that pink so, color. So because the solution has to be basic, right? This is now a basic solution. All right. There's a sodium hydroxide in this. Now, what we're going to add to the other beaker is a little acid, okay. and of course we know that acid and bases will neutralize each other, but Got we it. want to put a little excess acid in there. Got it. To so neutralize little, uh, all uh, the bases. We use a little hydrochloric acid, so again, one molar hydrochloric acid. Right, so one molar, and that's, and when I pour this into here, of course Look it's going to go back to colorless again. This is magic. All right, so again, what does this have to do with disappearing ink? Well, it's the same kind of reaction. It's going to be an acid-base reaction, and we're going to use an indicator. But this time we're but going I to use... But I don't want pink ink. I really would like to have that deep, dark... Well, every different indicator different. has different colors. This is our indicator for disappearing ink. You can see the name right there. Thymol thaline. 
Perfect. So thymothaline, just like phenolphthalein, it triggers about the same pH, right in, right, right in about the same range? Right about neutral. Okay. Okay. So that's what we're going to use to make that's the That's exactly what we're going to use to make the dyspareunia. And you remember the formula? Uh, no. So let's do it. What do you mean, no? You don't remember the <laughs> I formula. I don't remember this formula. No. Do you remember the formula to make this? Yes, I remember. This it truly is. You know what's the greatest thing about getting old? Is that you have new friends every day that you didn't you even know. Do you remember the formula? No, yeah. there it is. No, that, C -H -I -O. Said, no. no. Look at all I that. I want to know the formula to make the disappearing yes. ink. <laughs> yes. I just want uh, a liter yeah. of disappearing yes. ink. All right. This is pretty much how the lectures went, too. We went for about 45 this minutes of stuff very, that we really didn't very, want. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, bam, we've got about three minutes of what we I think what we should do, uh, pose to what you normally did, let's clean out these beakers so we start with clean beakers. Okay, Martha, here. Why don't you set these off to the side? Let's use this, okay? Oh, we've got Ready? some new beakers. Oh, we're going to do it on big time. So let's do it. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is just take about two grams of this would be appropriate. And I don't think you really have to measure this exact. So if you just put a little bit at the end of that... A little scooper there. Have you got uh, some at the end of that scooper? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's about right. A little bit at the end of the tip of the spatula right there. Okay. All right. Now, what we need to do is add a little ethanol. Okay. Uh, and so the ethanol Good. will help it dissolve. We'll get this milky white color, and we'll swirl it around trying to get it to dissolve as much as possible. There, and then it. you dilute the rest of that with what? Uh, we'll dilute it with water, and then we're going to add a little bit of sodium hydroxide. Got it. We're going to make it basic, okay. and the basic color is going to be blue. All right, so let's add some of the water. Okay, let's do that. I see what you say, uh, I mean about it being that milky white, but nobody's going to see it because it's finally going to turn blue, right? Right. Okay. Okay, now we're just going to add a little bit of sodium hydroxide. That's going to turn it basic. You don't want too much. No, right? no, no. This is just a one molar solution. Uh, dilute solution of sodium hydroxide. And now it's basic. I, if I remember correctly, we've got to play with this a little bit because when we squirt it out under the shirt, you got to see where it, it disappears. You sort of way. do a trial and you squirt it out and you see how long it lasts. You want the blue to last, oh, maybe 10, 20 seconds. Okay, so okay. we don't need this big solution. I'll pour, pour a small amount into this beaker and we're set. Go ahead, let's, um, let's put some that. of this in like this. All right, so now this is here. Oh, that looks great. Oh, that's a perfect color. Okay. Okay, let's just look at it and see how long it lasts. So it's changing back. We didn't put an acid on it, so why is it changing back? Well, that's because uh, there's carbon dioxide in the air. And carbon dioxide and water, and there's a lot of water here, is slightly acidic. And in fact, if you'll just blow on that. Okay. Okay. You're yeah, actually blowing a whole lot easier if you just spilled hydrochloric acid no, on somebody, yeah. then it would change back really no, fast. No, no, but, but that's going to ruin the want. shirt, isn't it? But this, now on somebody, would look really good, right? No. That would not look good. No, not good. like that. But, but this, it's not disappearing too fast. So for a joke, oh, I'd say that's just that's perfect. Pretty good. Because then they get a little concerned right. about it. Like, is this really going to go away? So like, oh. look, see, now that's see your little lab coat's working. How awesome is that? We'll try yeah. over here. There you go. Isn't that Try and nice? stay away from my skin, though. Will <laughs> yeah, <you age>? yeah. <laughs> you see, this is... I think we've wow. got enough. I think the idea... <laughs> wow. So yeah. if you just had a source of carbon dioxide, then you could actually make this well, change back. But I mean, is that right? I could get the other fellows here, but I don't believe they can breathe strong But this, you'll never guess what I found, which I thought was absolutely perfect. What? They I don't sell they, carbon dioxide. This is not, <laughs> See, now this being carbon dioxide not only freezes your skin and makes you slightly static electric charged. Look, it's clearing off. <laughs> look, but I'm still this, wet. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, wait, wait, wait. Turn around, Ace. Turn around. Huh? Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> Hey, look at this. I have a little now. respect here for an look older at, person. Look at this. Wow. There's a static charge on you. And oh, look, all of the ink has gone away. Yeah. Aside from this shirt that I think you got you a still dry had shirt with you? When I was hey, take in off high that school. shirt. Let's <laughs> exchange here a little bit. We have everything that we need for disappearing ink a simple acid base reaction. This is the extreme. I simply would just let it sit out there and, uh, and it and would I disappear. Think you see already, this is yeah. disappearing. But this would scare somebody. They would really think that maybe oh, you got some ink on them. Oh, I had a friend that did this on. He, that would be great. He had a suit and tie on and put that on his new white shirt. And he thought that was great. Doug place. Hodes from Heritage High School, my first chemistry teacher. You never forget the great ones, and I'm doing what I'm doing today because of this man right here. And that's it. That's all we're doing here. Well, the disappearing ink that Doug Hodes helped us make is very, very cool. And no matter how cool it is, it puts them in this pipette. It's just impossible, even if loaded with a pen, to write with it. Uh, 
you know, I just, you know, it's nothing. So it's fun to squirt on people, but it's really hard to write with. So I wanted you to have something that you could write with as there a kind of a modern day disappearing ink that's not at the joke shop. And uh, come to find out there really is. Take a look at this. It's a pilot friction pen. These are pens that you can find at a local uh, office supply place. Uh, and they're very, very cool because they're the kind of pen that will erase. You can actually, uh, the ink erases. So for example, here's the pen and you write, um, Hello, all right? So now, uh, the ink actually is a thermochromatic ink, which means that it changes with temperature, it changes color with temperature. So watch, I can use the eraser here and erase the ink. What I'm actually doing is heating up the paper. Just like you take your hands and you rub your hands together and you create friction. So the friction pen works just by that, by creating friction, and so I can simply erase the ink. While it's great to be able to erase the ink like this, what would happen if you use something else to erase the ink? I don't think the manufacturers thought about this. Let's say I owe you some money, um, and I simply write a little IOU here. I owe you 100 bucks, and I sign my name to it. That could be pretty dangerous because the IOU might not really be the greatest IOU in the world. What if it gets hot? So here, watch this. Here's our um, flame, watch like this, the IOU seems to vanish. But I don't think it's gone for good. Uh, in fact, can't get it back this way. What if you got it cold enough, would it come back? Let's go to the refrigerator. Let's throw it in the freezer and see what happens. Look, the message is back. And if you don't want to owe the money anymore, you just simply heat it back up again, watch. And it's gone. So unless you read the contract in a freezer, I don't owe the 100 bucks. So here's a challenge that's kind of fun. Uh, you can write a secret message if you want to, uh, and you can use a combination of a, a regular pen that won't vanish, and of course this friction pen from Pilot. Okay, so let's just say, uh, to make it easy, you're just doing numbers real fast. So let's write numbers the way that a calculator would have numbers. Pretty easy now to uh, change these. This was the permanent pen. This is the friction pen. So here, let's change this up. Let's make this one a, a four right here. This is our secret message. Let's see what happens when we heat it up. There you go. One through 10. My video guy came up with this. He wanted me to look at this message. This is his secret message. Watch out, the guy shooting potatoes is Steve Spangler who wants to be a special effects artist in Hollywood. This is the secret message. Let's see what it really says. Watch, watch the, watch the, watch the Spangler effect. So here's what I want you to do. Go get yourself some of these friction pens and come up with your own secret message, some cool thing that appears and post it as a video response here on this page, the Spangler effect. All right, let's take everything that we learned and uh, turn this into a segment with uh, meteorologist Becky Ditchfield. She's very, very gullible. I could probably convince her that this disappearing ink is actually a biological stain, and uh, maybe we could have a little surprise ending for her as well. So we're going in for a Steve Spangler science experiment, and unlike a lot of other times, I really I have no idea what's going to happen. So this could be interesting today. So today we're talking chemistry, mm -hmm. and this is a biological stain, okay? Uh, what does that mean? Uh, it's not. It's, uh, it, this is an ink. <laughs> oh, so okay. See, yeah, so here is, see the ink that's yeah. there? Yeah. It's this blue little ink. Right. And it's hard to see it here, so here, watch this. If we just, uh, see, isn't this, you, uh, see, there you go. Isn't that beautiful? So this is, isn't that great? Oh, this is, this is gorgeous. It doesn't really leak through too much, but no. it's, uh, isn't this great? This is, oh, so this is no. just, no, it's fine. It's just a strong. <laughs> See, this is a stronger source of car. See how fast? See how it changes back just like this? Yeah. See, see that's it's, it's really changing back. Wow. Yeah, here, turn, see on your back. Look. See, you are, it's fine now. Yeah. See, isn't that great? 
I now I know why you had that covered up, See, Steve Spangler. No, I was. I, this is just uh -huh. another source, and I just want people to know that this is a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher. And look, you are completely back to normal, minus just a small amount of snow. See, you're yeah. fine. You're fine. Uh -huh. See, isn't that great? This is why I use Becky. He's, she's fantastic. <laughs> but look, here's what most people don't realize. Fire extinguishers will produce uh, a small amount there of that condensation, and so yeah. she's kind of cold Easy. after everything is said and done. See how that works? I'm afraid to touch this yeah. coat. You're okay. okay Here, take off your little away. microphone. There we look go. at this. <gasps> look at this. She's perfectly fine. Oh. Minus the small amount of coldness. See, oh. she's fine. She's not working with me anymore, but yeah. she's fine. Yeah, right. She's fine. Okay. Well, if you enjoyed this week's episode, go ahead and click the subscribe button here. You'll be the first to know when a brand new episode appears each week. Uh, this button right here will show you some more cool science experiments that we do outside of this show. This button right here will take you to last week's episode just in case you missed it. And if you want to see the stuff that you shouldn't see, that's the uh, bloopers and the outtakes, well, just click this one right over here. And if you want to hear me stop talking through the magic of television, just click this button right here. Go ahead, click it, and I'll stop.